Hello guys, welcome back to the channel DevOps Consultancy and Solutions. So in this video, we will learn how to create the golden image on the Azure using the Packer. Right? In the previous session, we have learned how to create the Ubuntu image on Azure using the Packer. So let's get started. So I will just create a file Azure underscore windows dot Packer dot SCL file. I will just create the blank file. So I will open the file. So I have all the code written on my local. I will show you step by step what it requires. So first is the Packer block which requires the plugin. So first I will use the Packer block. So I'm using the Azure. So I'm, I will provide the required plugin as the Azure. So source will be github.com slash hashicop slash Azure. So it will download the Azure plugin from the GitHub repository and version I'm using the two. So uh, don't worry guys, I will provide the GitHub repository link in the description and also uh, I will pin, in, uh, pin it in the comment. So you can download the GitHub repository and check all the uh, files and you can use you can modify them or you can use state forward to test it or run it next is the source block so this is the code for the source block so i am uh, this is basically the image which the azure will use to as a base image so this will be as a so in this uh, example i am using the windows so i am using the windows 2019 data center uh, second generation windows server so it will use that as a base image so in this example as i am not mentioning any provision so the image which we will create that image will be exactly like the windows image provided by the azure so it has the uh, i need to mention the client id secret and subscription so these client id client secret subscription id and tenant id these are uh, my details but you can modify it and enter your own details so in the previous uh, video as i show you how to create the service principle so you can create run the command for the service principle and uh, get these client id and secrets for that so next is the image details so the, i am using the windows server so how to get these details as I uh, mentioned earlier in the previous video, again, the, I will mention uh, provide you the command is, is az space vm image list windows. So you can run, so you can run this image vm list. So it will give you windows uh, server details. So these are the windows server. Uh, images which are provided by the Azure so you can you pick any one so I am using the 2019 Windows Server so these details I have just mentioned here so image offer is the Windows Server image publisher is the Windows Microsoft Windows Server so you can get here the publisher detail this is the offer and SKU so this is the SKU for the Windows Server so that I'm, I am using so rest is the details are the location and the image name which image name i want to create so i am using the devops cns underscore packer underscore windows underscore image so you can give any name so next we are using the uh, some diff, uh, some attribute for the windows remote management which is the winrm so these are the attributes that i'm using so i will explain them one by one so communicator equals winrm so this specified that packer should use winrm winrm is is the windows remote management protocol to communicate with the virtual machine so winrm is commonly used to manage and interact with the windows system so i said the uh, we, we have to set the value uh, winrm for the communicator so next is the winrm is the underscore insecure so i set the value true because it will allow packer to ignore the ssl certificate validation 
so for the testing purpose or for the dev environment you can use the insecure tool but for basically for the production uh, and the real time in the project you need to set the value false or and use the ssl uh, self sign certificate you can use your own self sign certificate for the uh, strict uh, and follow that validation policy so next is the winrm timeout so i just said the uh, 5 minutes so this timeout addition for winrm connection so is it is set 5 minutes because if the connection cannot be established within that time within that 5 minutes then the packer will terminate the process so and Next is the winrm use underscore use underscore SSL. So that I set the true. So it will use pack. It will allow the packer to use the SSL for winrm communication. So uh, so basically, when the uh, data is being transmitted, so then the SSL encryption is required. So that data should be encrypted. For that, we are using the SSL encryption. So this is encryption SSL two is different from the certificate that. I just mentioned above which is insecure. So these two uh, configurations are different. So third, uh, at last we are using the I'm uh, using the winrm underscore username. So that I said packer. So this username is basically will use to authenticate to the Windows machine via winrm. So these are the five attributes that I'm using. The Windows machine will build up so it to communicate with the Windows remote management. Next is the build block. So build block, uh, as I mentioned, I am not using any provisional. So build block will be remain quite simple. So it's just the start of the build block curly basis, and then I will mention the source. So this is the array of the source, but because I have mentioned only the one source in my Packer build file, so I'm just giving the source dot source name, which is Azure hyphen rm dot Packer underscore build underscore image so if you are using the multiple source in the packer you can use so if i comma separated and give the array like you can give like something like this because uh, so I, I have only the one source mentioned here so i will remove the comma here and use the source as the which i need to build Right. So this is a simple packer build file for the Windows Server. Uh, you, which it is a, it it will create the image for the Windows. But this image, because we are not using any provisional, so this image will remain uh, will be similar like the image provided by the Azure. So let's get executed. And first is the initialization. So packer init Azure Windows file. Right, so initialization is done. So packer build, uh, sorry, next command is validate. Packer validate. So validation is done. So third command will be packer build. Packer build is your build file. So this is the build file. So now the build process has been started. So it will take a little bit of time. So I will pause the video and come back once it is done. Yes, guys, now the image has been created. So let's verify in Azure. So if I go to the Azure portal and I will refresh my resource group, I will find the newly created image. I click on the resource group. No. Yes, so now the resource group has been loaded, updated. So now we can see the newly uh, uh, image which I have created. It has been created. So now you can use this image for your own project or in the VMSS, in the virtual uh, machine scale set. Now I will stop the video here. In the next part, I will show you how to add the provisioners in the Packer build file. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. Keep learning. Happy learning.